My son has tickets uh, this weekend to go watch the Habs and he was super excited about it when he got it as a birthday gift in November but uh, now it's sort of fizzled out because they're not playing so well and he's a little bit disappointed about going to see them while they're in a slump. I think, you know what, uh, I'm surprised to see that he's not more loyal to them. He tuned in for a lot of the games when they were doing well. He's still watching, but there's something missing and the magic is gone. And he seems to be sort of disappointed in everything they're doing right now. This morning I was listening to the radio and they were saying that the, the stands are going to be empty. There's seats that are, you know, they're not able to uh, fill the stands. So I, I find that to be sad because why are the fans abandoning the team when they need the most? I, I, I don't know why. Uh, I think the fans have forgotten that team spirit is what pushes, a, pushes uh, players to win. And they can't go out on the ice without the energy of the fans backing them up. Well, the fans start out hoping that we're going to make the playoffs, uh, really behind the team, go, go, go. Price was always being vaunted as being the, the savior of the team. And now that he's out, I see everyone, uh, the doomsday headlines, and everyone's ready to pack up and go home. What I find funny is that not that long ago, Carey Price was the one everyone was complaining about. And now he's seen as the savior. And I, and I wonder, do, people don't have very long memories, it seems. It's, it seems kind of duplicitous and, and disloyal. Like when I look at my son and he goes out and plays and he's, an, he's just an amateur sport, he's a young, he's 11 years old, I say whether you win or not, it's not the, the point is that you go out on the ice and that you play hard and you try to win. And part of that equation is that I sit in the, in the stands and I cheer him on. And where are our Habs fans now when the Habs need to be cheered on?